Hello, hello, entertainment daily lovers. Welcome, welcome back. Please pardon my voice because I'm under the weather, but we have to bring the news, okay? Mm -hmm. We cannot see a trending news like this and let it slide. So let us talk about the MTV VMA award and the drama surrounding singer Tyler. Look, Tyler won okay and there's a whole lot of drama around that and that's what we're going to get into but before we get into all of those gist welcome welcome to entertainment daily with okay if you're joining us for the first time don't worry this is not my real voice okay i'm under the weather <laughs> okay so let me not laugh too much so i don't start coughing okay so let's get right into the conversation subscribe to our notification and join us as we dissect and analyze we're bringing you hot hot celebrity gist popcorn and more okay that being said mm -hmm. so the vmas Tyler won mm -hmm. best Afro beat and that there's a whole lot of drama about that, but we'll get into that afterward. But when uh, Tyler came on stage, okay, so it said that Tyler made history as the first African female artist to take home a, a to take home an MTV VMA award. Her hit song "Water" wins best Afro beat. Hmm. Well, that song "Water" don't really sound like Afro beat in my opinion, but we'll get into all of that. In the eyes of Americans, everything is Afrobeat. They don't try to do little much to know anything about anybody else. Everything, they live in their own planet. My own thoughts. Okay, so I think it's... it's Anyway, it's a shame that that song has to win as Afrobeat because everything can be Afrobeat, in my opinion, too. And that song doesn't really fit very well as an Afrobeat. But yes, uh, mm -hmm. we see what is going on. But yeah, there's always... Mm -hmm, something something going on there but that's not what we're here to discuss let us get into the gist so tyler won went on stage looking all beautiful well dressed and everything to receive her award received her award then from where everything went south was after she received her award she was getting ready to give her acceptance speech and she said the award is too heavy and she was on stage with i think Kelly and uh was Nas, what's, what's this guy? So anyway, this guy that likes to dress weird. I forgot his name now. Links next, what some, mm -hmm. yeah, anyway, the guy you see on the screen. And she wanted somebody to hold her award and he took the award, okay? Yeah, I think this guy that likes doing devilish things. I think that's why I don't remember his name. <laughs> Anyways, okay, yeah. If you're the fans, don't come for me. Anyway, so the guy helped her to hold the award while she gave her acceptance speech. Afterward, a whole uh, afterward, a lot, whole lot of people felt like eh, you're not the first person receiving this type of award. You could have held it. Giving someone to hold your award for you while you give a, your acceptance speech is kind of weird. And in my opinion, I would say mm, somehow I can somehow lean to what people are saying somehow, but I don't think people should make a fuss about it. But Tyler noticing that when the award was handed over to her, noticing that the award was very heavy, should have made her acceptance speech shorter and probably even joked about it saying look this award is so heavy so i'm going to try to make my acceptance speech as quick as i can and just give your acceptance speech thank the people you needed to thank and just move on but handing over your award just few seconds after award is handed over to you to someone else on stage and not as if you came up there with your you know i don't think was really really necessary Okay, so like I was saying, handing over the award to someone was not necessary. She should have just held it and done her stuff. So people on social media, you know, started coming up with all this funny uh, stuff about she handing over her award to someone else and stuff like that. And I feel like th this is something that is normal with or in the entertainment industry where we see a lot with some artists where they do too much. And I kind of understand that Tyler is just coming into this. I feel like she's overwhelmed and everything. Okay, so I feel like she's overwhelmed. So sorry for the pauses. But yeah, we have to do this gist, okay? We will finish this story. Anyway, so I feel like Tyler is kind of overwhelmed with everything. And it, it's actually, she's doing certain things that she's not really thinking so much about it. And I, I don't think she really thought about it before she handed over her award to someone to hold for her so yeah that is one of the dragon the other part is the fact that when they announced that she is winning this award for her song water and the song is winning 
for afro beats people were like are y'all serious mtv vma america and hollywood and all of you over there that do this thing look do you all really think that every sound is actually afro beats like have you all bothered to really know or take your time to know what afro beat sounds like some people are saying that particular song of tyler that they chose does not really suit and there are so many other songs from africa that could have won as an afro beat to the particular song from tyler that they chose some persons are even going as far as calling tyler an industry plant because people feel like they don't understand why that particular sound should be one as or one that should be presented as an afro beat and i quite agree with people that are saying that because the particular song of tyler can tyler do a proper afro beat song yes tyler can but the particular song that was chosen water does not necessarily sound but i feel like i also understand why that song is kind of uh chosen because that song kind of resonates more with the western people it, do it does really sound very westernized and kind of so i think it kind of sync with the american audience and to them they think that whatever sounds familiar in their ears is afrobeat and they don't take their time and i would expect people as vma to take their time to understand and it's not that they don't actually i think they do but i feel like when it comes to do with africa a lot of things are just being overlooked and skipped over and people will just do whatever they want to do because they're like mm, let's just do it this way it's not even africa and it's no big deal so i feel like i hope that these uh issues that people are raising right now it's going to get into MTV or any other music, whatever, all this, their music thing they do over there. I hope it gets into their ears. And next time, they should try their best to understand what Afrobeat sound sounds like. And if you're planning to include them in any of your events, pick the right, if you're picking female, pick the right Afro females, okay, that are doing Afrobeats that sound exactly like Afrobeats and then let them contest for that uh, award. And when you're picking sounds that sound westernized, Tyler fits in in that category properly. Okay. Yeah. So I think that's what she should have won something else in you people's category, not as Afrobeats, but mm -hmm, it is what it is. It, it, it is her time no uh stress you know tyler is a good singer good performer beautiful young lady doing well for herself and everything but i feel like there are lots of other people that you know best deserve this than that song and when i mean best deserve not because tyler is not putting in the work but because the song that was chosen from tyler it doesn't fit up mm -mm, it's not it's not don't go selling the wrong picture to the whole world and say that people now look at water 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 that has song water and think that that is afrobeat afrobeat and when you hear afrobeat afrobeat you're like okay uh it's quite different from what tyler you know did with that particular song so let me know in the comment section what do you think from people dragging tyler about handing over her award few seconds into you know her getting the award getting someone to hold it for her or do you think she should have just held it and make her her, her speech uh brief or handing it over to you was not a big deal or whatever comment down below and also to address the mtv situation with the vma tyler winning you know this award for afrobeat do you think tyler's song water really fits in when you hear afrobeat sounds will the first or first 10 songs that come to your mind will tyler's song uh, water titled water be one of the songs that comes to your mind when you talk afrobeat or you will have 10 100 other sounds that comes to your mind before you mention tyler's song when it comes to afrobeat and do you feel like america is always good at overlooking what africa is doing and they will just not put interest in trying to find out you know do the due diligence to find out and get proper information and know how to do what they're doing 
all of that i want us to talk about it in the comment section you know, tyler also took to her twitter tweeting telling people to calm the f down if i, I think she said people to shut the f up or something like that that she wasn't talking to Haley. <coughs> some people were pissed if she was talking to Haley, uh trying to get Haley to hold her stuff but she said she wasn't talking to Haley, and people should calm the f down that she just won an award and she's like I, I feel like tyler feels at this moment that people are ignoring the fact that she won and people are talking about everything else except the fact that she won but congratulations to you uh tyler for winning the best afrobeat um song so see you all on the next one and let's go thank you so very much subscribe